You know, sometimes I think sometimes we complicate prayer. We make it look like it's impossible. What is this if you just talk to God? He's your father. God, I feel like about this. What do what do you think about it? Lord, this thought is just is just consuming my mind and I know it doesn't please you. Can you take it away from me? God, something is burning within me about your ministry, God. Help me. Help me, guide me. Talk to God. He's there to listen to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And the last one is to seek counsel. To seek counsel. Some people, they don't like, especially our generation, we don't like advice. We just feel like, we, we think we know everything. We don't want people to, to do anything in our lives. Listen. There are people that have gone through what you've already, you're about to decide. There's people that already done it. Okay? Then you, you don't have to go with what they tell you. Vanessa, if you will. Amen. Listen, let I, I go around and ask God, the people you trust, people you, um, you know, you, you believe that this, these people are very trustworthy. Ask them, hey, I'm about to do this. I'm about to decide about this. What do you think about it? What do you think? Seek for advice. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And listen, every advice you get, you don't have to, to do what they tell you. It just opens up your mind. Matter of fact, it gives you different perspectives of the things that you could have missed. But as you see, we need to seek for advice. There are people that God has put in our lives for a reason. See, we are young people. Imagine, God has sent people like Moses in our lives who are ready to stand up and say, hey, I've made a big decision, a big mistake when I decided on this. And I don't want you to go through that. This is how you should do it. This is how I think you should go. People in our lives, they don't come just by accident. Hallelujah. Amen. They're not just there by accident. Some of us have made bad decisions. When God had already sent somebody in your life that was going to help you with it. But you just didn't seek counsel because you thought you know it all. You thought you know everything. And so you just fall to that. Let's seek counsel. People that you can trust. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm getting to the end. Don't worry. We'll see you go going. We're not going to sleep here. I know it's wet and cold outside and all, and all that. But we're going to leave. Don't worry. To Taundoka. Vanessa Sifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that you don't have to go in cycles anymore. You don't have to go in cycles anymore. You don't have to. You don't have to. Today can be an end. Today things can change. Today things can change. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. See, some people, some people are suffering today because of decision made by their parents. Some people are suffering today because of decision made by your grandparents. Some people are bound in witchcraft. Some people are possessed because of decision made by other people. Some people are cursed because of decision made by other people. And so you also come to this world and you find yourself just going through the same cycle too. Because of other people's decision. But I want you to be like the people of Joshua say that it's enough see some of us we just blame people around us it's my parents fault it's blah blah blah's fault you don't need to blame nobody you can end the cycle today the cycle has to stop and that's gonna be determined by your decision hallelujah Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read Deuteronomy chapter chapter 30. 
I'm not going to read that to save time. Deuteronomy chapter 30. Mambo ya nyakati salasini. No, kumkumu la torati, right? Yeah. Kumkumu la torati salasini. Kumina moja hadi kumina sita. And I'm going to read that. Listen to me. This is what it says. This command I'm giving you today. It's not too difficult for you, and it's not beyond your reach. And it's not kept in heaven, so distant that you must ask, who will go up to the heaven and bring it down so we can hear it today? It is not kept beyond the sea, so far away that you must ask, who will cross the sea to bring it to us so that we can hear it and obey it? No, the message is very close at hand. It is on your lips and it is on your heart so that you can obey it. You can decide today. You can end the cycle. It's your decision. It is your decision. You don't have to be under the same curse. You don't have to be under the same oppression. You don't have to be under the same bondage. You don't have to be in the same place. You can make a decision that will change your life. You can make a decision that will bring eternity to place. When Joshua was with him, with the people, and he told them, I believe that's Joshua 25. No, 24. But he, he told them that, uh, Joshua chapter 24, verse, four, uh, verse 14, 14 says, So fear the Lord and serve him wholeheartedly. Put away forever the idols of your ancestors. Worship them, uh, the ancestors worshipped when they lived beyond the Euphrates rivers and Egypt. Serve the Lord alone. But if you refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you shall serve. Who would you prefer the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates, or will you be, um, or will you will it be the gods of the Amorites in whom the land you now live? But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah! That is Joshua deciding. He said that me and my family, we're gonna serve the Lord. We're gonna serve the Lord. You need to decide. You need to decide. As I was reading the book of Deuteronomy, I'm going to continue. Verse 17. It says, But in your heart, turn away and, and turn away and, and you refuse to listen. 